hateful garbage. Oh, you blithering idiot. Oh, give me strength. That is challenging. Oh, this is hilarious. Like I give a toss. James, are your side pipes putting fumes into the cabin? I am the meat in an incompetent sandwich. It's flamboyant. It is the first track, I think, you've ever driven round extensively and not hit anything. Yes. God, I didn't. And, I... You, and your car is the correct way up. I think we can oh, thank all, you. Thank we you can all applaud that. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, Richard Hammond. Many years we've done this, and uh, I'm delighted Normally, to Normally, a paramedic <laughs> would now be cutting off his trousers. Yep. Yep. And he'd be going to the hospital. I'd be on the phone to his wife. Hi, Mindy. Yeah, I know. Well, while I admire your ingenuity and your application, that was a low blow on a day like this. I was already wet. And you could have taken my personal effects out. Isn't it funny how three people can have very different views of the same thing? I thought it was a really good idea. Hmm. Same here. And most of your personal effects are rubber anyway. I need to find something that I can gum it up with. Sticky tape, duct tape. Well, it's an interesting no. proposition, because petrol dissolves most adhesives. Yes, so... James, it's an interesting proposition. Chewing Meanwhile, gum. my car's lifeblood is draining away. I lose about an hour a day waiting for him to have his... Well, time for a roast dinner, mate. Time he's read the Telegraph, done the crossword. And if he does a crossword. Yeah, I'd say you've got an hour. May. Yes, sir. We guessed you'd have a Cadillac. Not just a Cadillac, this is a Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Is it? The Cadillac of Cadillacs. Honestly, driving this, I feel like Elvis Presley. What, dead on a lavatory? <laughs> Why have you taken up golf? My mates seemed to be really enjoying it, so I went round with them and I tried it, and it was really, really... It's art. It's, honestly, it's really I'm not art. interested. And so then I've had lessons. I was having quite an interesting thought process there about American cars, and now suddenly my day has been ruined. Somebody I've actually enjoyed working with for the last 15 years, it turns out, is weird. So he's driving up a mountain and he thinks he's going to find the A9 at the top of it, does he? Oh! Oh! Good slapper, Hammond. Broken. Oh, that could keep you occupied for hours. Why won't it go on? It's ridiculous. The last thing I knew was I was in my 30s, yeah. late 30s, admittedly, and then suddenly I'm standing in a field still watching. How is this possible? <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> oh, wow, what a sense of achievement. I didn't think mine would be fast. Well, you weren't driving very quickly. Well, like, it's as quickly as it would go, and it's, a com it's just comfortable. So you've got one dial in your car, which is a speedometer. Yes. Which is the one thing you don't need. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> but the car doesn't need it. Not interested in that one. He began that by saying, it's interesting, isn't it? And then proceeded to be, not be interesting for the next ten minutes. You, you're absolutely right, because if, for example, I mean, let's just take a hypothetical case. If you saw a classic Mustang, say a dark green one, and it was being driven by Richard Hammond, all you can see is his face just yeah. sticking up above the steering yeah. wheel. But you'd still think, I bet he's wearing cowboy boots. And he is. Our job on this mission, as you know, Rob. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. What? Well, it's an interesting flavours. That is challenging. The kipper's good, though, isn't it? I like kippers and I like batter. Yeah, I love kippers. I love batter. I always like marshmallow and a nice pencil. <laughs> yeah. But I don't want them all in one big congealed lump. James May, I never thought I'd say this to you, but your udder has come off. Don't ever say that to me again. Oh! Hammond, do you mind not doing that? I've had a heart attack. God really did mess up with Scotland, didn't he? Cos, oh, look at that, it's my best work. And now it's going to rain constantly. Yeah, he made something really rather beautiful and then covered it with a tatty old sheet in the form of the weather. You know, the funny thing is... ..when you see someone driving an American car in Britain, you know everything about them. You know that Trump makes them plump, They've got a Confederate flag in the garage. Yeah. They only drink bud. When you see someone driving a Fiat, you don't think, well, but he waves his arms around and has a weird relationship with his mother. That's a particularly shoddy piece of work. Well, well, wait a minute. Two American stars on your American car. Exactly. That is an enhanced spat. You could have made an effort to make it fit. I mean, what are these just... You've just driven cr ugly, cross-headed, self-tapping screws into my Cadillac. It's fixed, though. 